Good morning. Welcome to this video cast about WordPress MySQL 8 HA in OCI. So if you have followed the three blog series about WordPress on OCI from with MySQL 8 from replica sets to InnoDB cluster, this is the end with some tests. So we have InnoDB cluster with one primary node, which is my MySQL 02. So let's play around it. This is the Oracle CI uh, interface, and this is, you see, the IP we are using here. And you can see that the website is responding. This is the IP, not the public IP of the servers, of the web server, but the public IP of the load balancer that we have configured previously. So I have created a small page here, a small script that shows which web server is answering, where do we do a some read and where do we do a write. And here is a table that shows the latest ones. So I have two tabs open and we can see here when we do the previous write was made on MySQL 2 from the web server my WordPress 02, now it's my WordPress 01 and we can see here the latest one and that's in the table all the previous ones. So every time we refresh we can see it might change. The primary doesn't change because it's the only right node we have. So now we're going to change the primary. Let's say that we have to do something on the current primary, so we're going to change it. Don't forget, routers are configured on every um, web server too. So we can see, okay, now MySQL, my, MySQL 01, it's the new primary. And every time we refresh the table, uh, the page, we can see that we are writing on my MySQL 01. You can see that the full site is working and that page too, of course. So now let's take a look here and let's stop, stop the instance, the primary one. So let's go back on the page. We see the website, it's responding. It takes some time to reply because something is happening, right? And we can see now it has changed. There is a new primary, which is my MySQL 02. And wherever we go, website is working and it replies the right, um, the right information. So now we have stopped the backend. Let's stop one of the frontend. This is not only MySQL related, of course, this is more OCI, right? Oracle Cloud infrastructure. But if we stop the web server, we can see that now we always go on the remaining web server. So the goal of um, achieving HA to our web server, to our WordPress with MySQL 8 is working fine. Up. Let's have a look at the load balancer information. We can see that it's okay. One is okay. Let's have a look at the backend sets. There is currently only one backend set here. And in the backends, we have two backends. Let's have a look at them. And we can see one is critical. Just small warning here, uh, 
on the web interface it's not always very very accurate when you the backend is uh, online or offline sometimes it takes a while on the on the web interface but it works um, very well uh, on the system itself so now I'm restarting the nodes so the database node and the uh, WordPress so web server let's take it takes some time to uh, start Apache start everything again the, okay it's running now we can see that everything always work the, the our web server is working as expected and now we can also check about because we are doing reads but let's have a look at writes to prove you that uh, there is no issue so let's write this small article everything is in the title right we are here let's take another session to see to have a look it's here too and now yeah, because we killed we stopped my mysql one let's reconnect get the cluster back cluster object i mean in, in my shell are all online so we can see that the node we stopped it's back online now we decide to once again change the writer flash here we can see primary now it's my mysql 3 so all is almost transparent sometimes just a small delay when the operation is happening so if there is an issue a failover you might have for a running query a one second uh, delay or something like that but it's very very small so now uh, let's have a look and do something different just for fun we're gonna switch to multi-primary node. For WordPress, we don't have a issue with that right now. So let's have a look. We can see we always write uh, on the MySQL 03. Because this is the first available. This is due to the routing policy we have in the router. So in, wor in one of the web server, so here my WordPress 02, I'm going to change that router policy. We can see that by default for read write on the classic protocol, it's the first available. Let's change that to do a traditional run robin. So meaning all queries on my on my work on my WordPress 02 when there is a write happening it will change to a uh, it will change um, writers don't forget that uh, we are using a hyperdb plugin here on WordPress to be able to do that we can see now we are web server and when we use my WordPress 02, we can see that the primary changes. On my MySQL 01, it doesn't change because for him, the first primary, it's always the same one right now. But 
for my work by 0 to it is changed one bobbingly. Of course, we can do um, the same change we have done in the web uh, server on the router of the web server 2 to do it on the 1. We do exactly the same change of the policy and we need to restart the router to be sure it works as uh, expected. So let's take a look here. First available. So with the power of uh, the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, using the load balancers, using uh, web servers, here compute instances for MySQL, we can we have created the HA on different availability zone. We reached our goal, which is which was to make uh, our service uh, I available. And we can see here now that uh, when we have restarted, that even when we go to the number one, we always choose a different primary. So thank you very much and uh, see you on afraid.be for more information about MySQL. Bye bye. <laughs>